The Asabo Canoe Campground is located in Michigan's Lower Peninsula to the east of Grayling along the north bank of the Asabo River. As I was driving to the Asabo Canoe Campground, I had my GPS really throw things off and you might run into the same thing. It was insistent that I go to the south side of the bank and walk or swim across the river. That is not accurate. You actually have to go north of Grayling and come back down to the campground. So be aware of that when you're setting up your GPS to travel here, because no matter what I did, even when I was on the north side of Grayling, it wanted me to go back south and come back up and swim across the river. Way to go, Google Maps, on that one. When you first enter the small campground, you have your registration station, which is a little weather-worn, and you have the hand pump for water. There is quite a bit of extra parking here, and I believe this is probably intended for fishermen that want to walk down to the river. And then off to the right of this registration station are the actual campsites. And most of the campsites were nice little campsites tucked into the woods. Several of them are actually being used. And when I say several, it was like four of the eight available campsites. So I didn't video any of the campsites that were actually being used. But you can see it's a mix between the beautiful tall red standing pines and hardwood forest. Like I said, plenty of space in between the sites so that you don't have to worry about being right on top of your neighbor. Each campsite comes with a fire ring and a picnic table. This is really what I think of when I think of a rustic campground. Now, the main reason most people would probably want to stay here, aside from the rustic campground that's right outside of Grayling, so you have a quick trip into town. As you walk down the trail that is gated so you cannot drive down it, you're going to walk right towards the Asabo River itself where there's going to be a stairway that you can get down to the bank and do some fishing if you want. From the platform here, it just looks like your typical ordinary up north river, but the view from up above is absolutely spectacular. And had it not been for the drone view here, I never would have known that there was an additional part to the campground that you really can only access from canoe or kayak, and I'm gonna visit that part of the campground next, as soon as we're done looking at the air view here.
After just a short hike through the woods, I came up to another really nice campground. Again, I wouldn't have even known this was here had it not been for the drone. This is actually the canoe and kayak part of the campground where there are six additional campsites that you can register for and stay at if you're kayaking and canoeing on a multi-day trip. This part of the campground was actually incredibly nice and quiet and super remote feeling. There was nobody else here and I don't know if there's an actual road that comes to this campground or not. If there is a road that drives to here, there certainly wasn't anybody around that looked like they drove down that road. There was only two other gentlemen that had hiked the trail from the other campground to get to this one. You can see this part of the campground has a much more open format. You kind of can see through the entire campground as the campsites are in this big open space that's well mowed. You don't have a whole lot for trees and shade in this area. However, it's still super awesome to have these kind of campgrounds that are set up along the river so you can help plan overnight trips and overnight stays if you're going to be doing multi-day trips of fishing and canoeing. This part of the campground does also have its own outhouses and its own hand pump for well water. However, I'd imagine most of the people canoeing and kayaking on multi-day trips are bringing a water filter. I myself have filtered water out of the Asabo River for drinking, and it's pretty good. Additionally, for what it's worth here at this campground and the other one farther back up the trail, mosquitoes were not bad at all. There were a few biting flies. Overall, this entire campground was set up really well and super quiet. It was middle of the week in mid-June, but overall it was a great trip.